Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, you are having an amazing weekend. It is time for another garden and chicken update. And we have been not doing any gardening this week. I've still been cover recovering even from the dreaded COVID. But look, my sprouts are starting to recover from the deer attack earlier this year. So these guys are starting to recuperate and it is my hope, nay, my wish, that I may just get some sprouts in time for Thanksgiving, maybe. Everything in the garden is still kind of recovering from the fact that it had no water for a couple of weeks, but good news, we've had rain, as the thumbnail for this video suggests. We've had a decent amount of rain. The ground is nice and wet. It is really nice to have had some natural precipitation because you've have had to rely on using basically irrigation for most of the summer. And that's had a really negative effect on a lot of the plants in the garden. I'm sorry, the camera is very dark because I'm in the corner of the garden where uh, the, you can see behind me, uh, the sun is setting in the trees. And while it looks really pretty, uh, if I have the camera in the wrong direction, then it makes it look very dark and I apologise for that. I had hoped on Wednesday this week that I was going to be able to get out in the garden and do some gardening, but it rained all day Wednesday and most of Thursday. So my beans have not given up, which I'm really happy about. And I know I've got my, my, my welly on the garden and I shouldn't, but it is the end of the season. So I have a few a few more beans to uh, harvest. They might be in my Sunday, my Sunday dinner. Other than that though, the beans are pretty much given up. Um, everything else is pretty much given up here. So I'm gonna have to dig this uh, area out and completely remove that. I'm going to prepare this plot over here first for my garlic and my onions, which are gonna go in here hopefully this has been fallow this year I've basically just let it grow and I'll put some fresh compost on top and then I will put my garlic and my um my 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 onion sets in there I found some onion sets at the seed store last weekend and I haven't ever put them in in the winter before but I was wanting to get some um garlic to put in and so I realized while I was looking at the garlic that they had some some onion sets too. So I was very excited about that. I'm going to show you <laughs> the chickens because I know that you all want to see the chickens. It's a very sorry state. Bird flu is only a county or so away, so I haven't let them out. But look, they are all looking very sorry for themselves because they are all molting. And it means that we don't get many eggs at the moment. But hopefully, we will be able to muck the chickens out this weekend. Again, I wanted to do that um, on Wednesday, but it was raining. And so I decided, no, I'd stay inside and do a bit of housework and a little bit of transport evolved work. I was very naughty. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, so the chickens are not laying very much at the moment and that is actually quite good because while I was away we had lots of chicken eggs laid and I'm still working my way through them. The back of the garden though, look, even with just a little bit of rain it's starting to look really good. I haven't mowed since July. It's been so dry. I might actually have to mow this weekend. The The bits of the garden where there is a lot of growth is the bits of the garden where we had constant water throughout the summer from the irrigation system. So we are working, we are working to solve that. Um, really exciting thing that I wanted to show you um, is that the rose that I adopted from Erin is is coming back up. Now, I don't know. This is Coco Loco, or at least it's supposed to be. 
and it's a Floribunda High Ghost. Um, and it started to sprout. Now, I don't know. I have a suspicion that this is the rootstock of the original rose, not the grafted rose Coco Loco. But I'm going to have to do a bit of investigation and find out. Nevertheless, that is definitely a rose coming up, and I'm happy about that because this rose had to be cut right back. It picked up some rust shortly after it came to live with me. And so I haven't dared put it in the ground with my other roses. Here in the greenhouse, everything is kind of winding down. The, the geraniums are still flowering amazingly. I have no idea why they're behaving so happily right now because I haven't looked after them at all. But look, this is Tango. It's a, it's a dark red geranium. It's doing well. We've got this one. I think this one is Dynamo, which is another red um, geranium. It's about to go into flower. And my other geraniums are still flowering. One of my favorite geraniums, this is called Crocodile, hasn't flowered much. But it's getting to that point where it's starting to put up more and more shoots as we get towards the colder nights and um, and the darker nights. And obviously all the geraniums are going to have to come inside before frost. But everything else is doing is doing pretty well. And uh, my peppers are starting to grow and all, all kinds of other things. I'm going to give you a bit of an update here on the potatoes. Look at them. They are, these are the second crops. They're in flower now. So we'll soon start to see some taters growing in 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 the soil down there and I still need to finish filling them up but that is okay everything is really happy about having lots and lots of water which is good and these I picked up at the seed store when I was picking up my garlic and my onion sets these are supposedly full broccoli so I put them in where the potatoes were Hopefully the deer won't come and, and numb on them. If they grow, they grow and I'll get some extra um, broccoli and I love broccoli. If not, so be it. Same thing here with some uh, late season lettuce. My lettuce, which is over here, had basically gone into seed mode. This is what remains of that lettuce. So I figured, hey, why not? Let's put some fresh lettuce in and see what happens. I know this looks a bit of a nightmare, but down here is um, some of my uh, parsnips and they're actually growing really freaking nicely. I've got some great big parsnips. I've been looking at them carefully and they're pretty long and pretty round now. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to harvest some broccoli, not some broccoli, some parsnips soon. Again, just in time for Thanksgiving and, and the holidays and... Um, it's really been nice this year because I've been able to grow self-sufficiently in the garden for a long time. Last weekend was the first time in about three or four months that I went to the local greengrocers to buy some vegetables and it felt a bit weird and like I was cheating a little bit, but c'est la vie. Um, we, do have a, we do have a casualty to discuss in a minute. Um, well, I'll tell you about it now. So we had a maple sapling right on the border of our, of our property that I'd put in. Um, a couple of years ago, that was a transplant from one that had self-seeded right by the house. And it's been growing really well for years. And then it started to go brown and then it died. And I had a look and it's been chewed by gophers. There are no roots anymore. So it basically was killed by a bunch of gophers. So that made me very, very sad indeed. One person who has not been killed by gophers though, and I know you all wanted to know, is this guy, Mr. Ghost, where is your ball? Go get a ball. He is a lot better. So for those who don't know, he, uh, he ingested a rope toy not so long ago and it was kind of hit and miss there for a while. He was very sick. He had to have a quite expensive surgery and now Where's your ball? Do you know where it went? 
he's been extremely vocal and extremely um, pestery all week because he started to feel better. And all he wants to do is P-L-A-Y. I can't blame him. It's lovely weather. He's feeling better. I'm feeling a lot better than I was. Uh, so, you know, why not play? If that's if that's a thing that he wants to do, there is a ball around here somewhere. You can go find it. I saw it earlier. It was wandering around. Well, it wasn't wandering around. It was on the ground. And I know it was there. Ghost, come. Don't go on the road. Thank you. Anyway, I tell you what. We'll say goodbye to everybody. He's getting very irritated now because I asked him for his ball and now I won't find one. So I'm going to say goodbye and read out my end credits. And then hopefully I or someone else on the team will see you next week for another Sunday Musing and, in this case, Chicken and Garden update. That is it for today's video. If you did like it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. And don't forget to leave your thoughts below or in our free to join Discord chat room. There are links in the video description. And if you really like today's video, why not leave us a super thanks? It's really easy to do and everything you do send goes towards helping us make great content. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and our main channel, Transport Evolved, and give the bell a gentle ding to be told when our next video goes live. And also, if you want to support us, be sure to check out our regular sponsors, including the lovely folks at Unspun and Energy Sage. There are links below. Thanks on behalf of the entire crew. Go out to everyone who makes this possible. That includes everyone who supports us on Patreon and YouTube, as well as those of you who watch the video and share it. If you are a supporter at the charged up level, you'll see your name right here on my right hand side. And Ghost is still looking for that ball. And if you have just joined, you may not see your name, but don't worry, it will be on there soon. Thanks to our self-driving tier supporters, Mike Weeder, Patrick Boyarski, Chris Maxwell, Brian Newton, Michael Goad, Bennett Elder, Andrew Martin, Pedro Moa Pinheiro, Brophy Wolf, Chris and Michael Johnson, Tazla in the Gong, Dan Blair, Peter Dillinger, Gordon C, Stephen O'Donoghue, Carl Hodgson and Anthony Coates, Raging Fellows, Dan, Denny Hyde even, Chris Ascenter and Jim Burness, and of course, super out of this world, thanks to our top tier Starman level supporters. Andrew Glenn, Anonymous Freak, JP Fagerback, Joe Bresney, John Lyons, Rory Litwin, Matthew Drobnak. Um, Kevin Boroughbridge, Laura Reynolds, Marcel Ward, Paul Conway, Reggie Watts, Will Graylin, and last but not least, Ian. Sorry about that. I was trying to keep one eye on a Border Collie who is now frantically looking for a BAWL. If you would like to support the channel, you can do so through Patreon, Bitcoin, Kofi, or YouTube. Or indeed, you can buy some swag from our swag store. And I will be back very soon with a, another video for you all to enjoy. And I know where the ball is, and Ghost does not. Ghost, would you like the ball? It's right there, you silly boy. Yes, it is. It is right there. Look at that border collie in action. He's all about the ball. And he wants me to go to my normal place for throwing and playing fetch. So I'm going to go and do that now. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And as always, keep evolving. Keep evolving.